Hello Lens Creators, and welcome to part three of our Starter Kit series. Hopefully by now you're familiar with all the different templates within Lens Studio, and if you're new to Lens Studio, have started tinkering with your own projects. In this video, we'll run over how you can make your lens more inclusive and user-friendly, and we'll deep dive into how you can make sure that these projects reach more people. On the left side of Lens Studio, you can find all the projects that you've worked on recently. As you finish the process of building your lens, you'll want to continue to check the preview panel in the top right for preview images on how your lens might look on different people. This is super important to make sure that your lens is inclusive. You can also change from an image to a video to make sure that it works in that format and you're able to test different triggers here as well. Pro tip for video images, you can add your own from a file. This is really useful if you have your own custom triggers based on things like facial expressions or hand gestures. In the bottom right of the panel, you'll find different ways your lens can be viewed on various devices. This is important to make sure your lens works on a variety of screen sizes as well as fields of view. As you choose these different previews, you'll notice how the lens looks, whether it's close or far or how the location of the font changes. Now let's head to the My Lenses window. This is where you can control how your lens is distributed amongst many other things. In this case, we're submitting a lens for the community so that it can be discovered by different people in Snapchat. In the My Lenses main screen, you'll find all the different lenses you've submitted. On the far right, you'll see the Copy Link button, which you can click to get a link to your lens for you to share with friends or on your socials. You'll also notice the snap code icon beneath your lens's details. Click download, and once it's done, it can be posted, published, or even printed so that people can scan and easily access your lens from their phones. Okay, now let's learn about lens tags. These are keywords that you can use to help people find your lens when they use the search bar in Snapchat. You simply type in keywords that apply to your lens and click add tag. Below that, we have scan triggers, which help people find your lens using scan. This helps your lens be discoverable within certain subjects that people are searching using a long press and hold. You can start typing to find different possibilities about what your lens could be related to and add those for extra visibility. Pro tip, if your lens contains an image marker, that image will automatically be used as a scan trigger. Got it? Good, let's move over to Snapchat. Once you've opened the app, you're able to see how people can use the AR experience you've created. They can find your lens by simply tapping on the screen and selecting the lenses shown in the carousel or selecting the smiley face to open the carousel. As we select any lens, you'll notice an attribution to the creator. Here, people can subscribe to your lenses so they'll be notified when you publish new ones as well as find your previous ones. Lenses can also be found by tapping the Explore button. This shows all the different lenses that are trending as well as ones by subject and of featured creators. For creators over 18, you have the option to set up a public profile as a way to make your lenses more easily discoverable in this space. To do this, open your profile in the top left of the app, scroll down to Public Profile, and follow the on-screen instructions. From here, you can jump right in and see the lenses that you've made previously. To change information in your settings, tap in the top right. This is where you can add details about yourself, like your profile photo, your bio, and your location to help people in the AR world better connect with you. Once you've finished setting up your profile, hit Preview Profile in the right side of the window, and you'll be able to view your profile as others will see it. Pro tip, as well as linking your lenses, be sure to drive social clicks to your public profile page so that people can subscribe to you and keep up to date with everything you're creating. Finally, let's talk social. Your lenses deserve attention, okay? They do, they simply do. And social media is a great place to help you get visibility. The Snap AR Network LinkedIn page is where creators like yourself can share their lenses and more. So be sure to post there and share yours with the group as you go. On Twitter, don't forget to tag at Snap AR once you've published your lens and are ready to share it with the world. Pro tip, posting a video of your lens in action and a link to the lens with an in-depth description, or whatever you can fit in 280 characters, will help you connect with your audience more deeply. Because the fans want more than just a snap code to get involved. Beyond posting, just keep your eye on social after the fact. Be active and respond to your community with links to and information about your lenses. Here's a pro tip for building anticipation and buzz. Create a behind the scenes video of the making of your lens to get people interested and excited. Pro tip for visibility. Lean into cultural moments and popular hashtags that relate to your lens, especially those in your local region, as it'll help you build a community. You can also engage with other posts about these cultural moments on social media for an added boost. Pro tip for social etiquette. Space your post apart over a few weeks to ensure followers catch the news of your lens. Post frequently, but not ad nauseum. Pro tip for engagement. Post different formats of your lens. Think GIFs, photos, and videos to see which captures your audience the best. 
And that's it for now. Thanks for sticking around to the very end of part three of the introduction to Lens Studio. We hope it's been helpful and we can't wait to see what you create. Check out our community support resources at the link in the description or head on over to at SnapAR on Twitter where you can network with other creators or even DM us any questions that you might have about your own projects. If you found this video helpful, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Hit that little bell icon to get notified about other tutorials, tips, and office hour clips straight from Snap. Happy creating and we'll see you next time.